how can you build the right culture on your team? I'm gonna talk specifically about wrestling um, because that's what I coach, but this is gonna apply to any team, sport, whether it's club, high school, it doesn't matter. All right, and I think this maybe even can roll over into, it definitely does, it rolls over into business, um, into anything where you're trying to build that team culture. Um, when I was first trying to figure out the culture and to get people motivated and to get people excited about um, Iron Faith, I thought about a couple things, but I would say the biggest thing I made a mistake on was trying to make it too easy. I was trying to make the sport or the practices not too hard so they wouldn't quit. I tried to not push them into competition so they wouldn't lose and quit, right? I wanted to retain my athletes and I thought that was what would do it. So what I found was it didn't get people bought in. It didn't get people excited. It was just another sport for them. So, you know, because there was nothing special about it, because it wasn't very exciting, it wasn't very hard. They weren't competing. They weren't winning. They weren't um, training at a high level. When the season ended for wrestling, people would go to the next sport. And I'm sure a lot of people um, have the same issues with whatever sport you're in, right? So how could I make the culture at Iron Faith so much better than any other sport that the kids like, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna go to the other sport. I want to stay here because this is much better. It's a much better service. It's much more exciting. Um, I'd way rather be here. So the first thing that I would say that I learned was get them excited. Make sure the practice environment is something exciting to be at. Um, one thing that's important is Music should be playing. I'm gonna speak specifically to wrestling, but gotta get that music playing. It's gotta be something that the kids like, all right? You've gotta be pushing the kids hard. Don't make the practice easy. Push them hard and encourage them through it. So don't push them hard and say you stink and whatever, you're bad. Um, you're not going hard enough. Push them hard and congratulate them for going hard. Bring people up that are going hard and show them in front of the group. Watch these kids uh, practice the drill. Watch these kids compete live and have the whole entire room watch those athletes um, so that you're encouraging the whole group to follow suit, all right? So instead of going the route of let's make it easy and fun, let's make it challenging and fun and let's um, and let's reward the kids for their behavior, right? Because the kids aren't gonna get bought into the sport unless, you know, as I know, unless they're winning too. Like if they're not doing well, if they're, if they're losing, they're only gonna be able to take that for so long. So if you have the practices super easy and not very challenging, they're really not gonna get that good. And if they don't get that good, when they do go to compete, they're gonna lose. And it's not that big of a deal in the beginning, but if they're losing for four years straight, I'm sure they're gonna quit at some point or, or most athletes would quit at that point. So there is, you've gotta push them hard. If you wanna keep them, you've gotta push them hard because you, you gotta help them to accomplish their goals of winning and getting better in the sport. So again, I'll reiterate, don't go easy on your athletes. Push them hard and give them praise for their efforts. And, and that will make them more exciting. They wanna be, a, who doesn't wanna be a part of a team that's winning? Who doesn't wanna be a part of a team that is getting better? Who doesn't wanna have that team camaraderie where you just went through a hard practice? People want that, kids want that, right? And parents want that. Parents want their kids to work hard, right? And they wanna see their kids pushing the pace. Um, if you just push them hard though, like I said, and you don't encourage them and you're just like, you're more like kind of giving them like anxiety about it, um, then 
they that's not the that's not the uh, environment you're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna be at. So you want them to be excited to work hard. They come in, the music is blaring, getting them jogging, slapping the kids' hands. You guys ready to go hard? You guys ready to accomplish your goals? Get them pumped up and fired up to train hard, and that's where they work. That's when they're gonna wanna be there. All right. So that was the that's kind of the main point. Uh, I do have another. We do have other little things that we try to do to keep people to um, stay in the sport. You know, I think like we do have like a bell system here. I don't think that really rolls over to all the all the sports, but we do have like a system where kids improve, they get um, ranked up, and something something to look forward to besides just winning in competitions. But the biggest thing that you guys need to do if you're a coach or you're a captain of your team. Get your athletes to work hard and be excited about it. That is one of the biggest things that I've seen uh, change in the in the room for my guys and gals. So, you know, I really recommend implementing that. If you have any other questions on, you know, any details of what I've talked about, throw them in below. Throw them below as a comment, and I'll try to throw it into another video in the future. If you like these types of videos as well, let me know, throw a like. So like or comment if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next video.